Shout, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are happy to see the first Sunday of this month of August. Shout a louder, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And put those on upon to Jesus Christ and please be comfortable. On behalf of God and his servant. You are welcome Mishwa. in this covenant day of restoration. Praise the Lord. And finally, on the covenant highway of life, let's do it with power, with authority. Praise the Lord. And finally, praise the Lord. And finally, on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations and congratulations. In this service, it's my given privilege to call ourselves to call to worship. And we'll be calling ourselves to call to worship in the book of Joel 2, 21 and verse 27. Joel 2, 21 and also all the way to verse 27. I read verse 1 and you read verse 2 responsibly. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Shout Amen. Verse 22. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth a fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Verse 23. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you the rain. And the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Verse 4 together. And the floor shall be full of wheat. And the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse number 25. Let's read together one to go. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. The cacaworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and my great army which I sent among you. Shout Amen. Verse 26, read it together, one to go. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dwelt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Say Amen. amen. Verse 27, with power. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. This shall be a portion in Jesus' name. Soma katika kitabu cha Yoeli, mbili, shina moja, mpaka shina saba. Soma kwa lua ya kisohili. Usiogope, e inji, purai na kushangilia. Akika buwana, ametenda mambo makubwa. Msiogope, enyi wanyama pori. Kwa kuwa mbuga za malisho. Yenu zinarudia upichi Miti nayo inazaa matunda Purahini enyi watu wazayuni Shangilieni katika bwana mungu wenu Kwa kuwa amewapa mvua zavuli kwa kipimo cha haki Anawapeleka mvua nyingi Mvua ya ufuli na ya masika kama mwanzoni Shirinane, sakafu sakupuria zitajaa nafaka. Mapipa ya tafurika mfinyo, mpya na mafuta. Shinatano, nitawalipa na ajili ya miaka, kwa ajili ya miaka ile ilio liwa na nzige, parare, mandu, mandu na tununu. Tunutu, jeshi langu kubwa ambalo nilitumia katikati yenu china sita mtakuwa na wingi wa vyakula mpaka mshibe na mtalisifu jina la bwana mungu wenu ambaye amefanya maajabu kwa ajili yenu kamwe watu wangu hawata 
hataibishwa tena china saba kwa pamoja ndipo mtakapojua kwamba mimi niko katika Israeli na kwamba mimi ndimi bwana Mungu wenu kwamba hakuna mwingine kamwe watu wangu hawatabika tena Put those on the phone of Jesus Christ Mark in this Kofi covenant Kwa yes. of restoration except your restoration in Jesus name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on my covenant highway of life. Bwana asifiwe hatimaye niko katika njia yangu ya kiagano. This covenant day of restoration. Katika siku hii ya kiagano ya uregesho. It is Winners Chapel International Mombasa announcement time. Ni wakati wa matangazo. Say my good news time. Wakati wangu wa habari njema. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. As a proof of our love for God. Kama kuthibitisha upendo wetu kwa Kristo. Every winner is admonished to continue to reach out to our new converts until they are established in the faith and in this church. Kila mshindi anashauriwa akaweze kufuatilia wale zile nafsi ambazo zimeokoka ili wakaweze kuthibitishwa katika kanisa hili na katika imani. We can do so through fervent engagements on the altar of prayer. Tunaweza kufanya hivyo kupitia kwa madhabahu ya maombi. For God to meet them at their at their points of need ili Mungu akaweze kuwafikia katika eneo lao la mahitaji reaching them through phone calls and sms kuwafuatilia katika kuwapigia simu na kuwatumia arafa encouraging them to undergo believers foundation class kuatia moyo wakaweze kushiriki darasa la msingi welcoming them to their nearest home cell tukaweze kuwaelekeza katika ushiriki wa nyumbani ulio karibu nao joining service units wakaweze kujiunga na kitengo cha utendakazi hapa kanisani inviting them to partake of our weekly programs including covenant hour of prayer tukaweze kuwashauri wakaweze kuhudhuria ibada zetu za katikati ya juma na pia sala kiagano la maombi midweek and uh, sunday services ibada za katikati ya juma na ibada za jumapili and also to ensure they attend wofb for their spiritual cha- supernatural change of story na pia tukaweze kuhakikisha kwamba wamehudhuria shule yetu ya biblia ya wofb ili wakaweze kubadilikiwa na hali kimiujiza expect god to reward your secret engagements openly in return na utarajie mungu akaweze kukutawabu kwa wazi kwa kushiriki midweek communion services ibada za katikati ya juma Our midweek communion services holds this Wednesday both here in the main church auditorium. Ibada za katikati ya Juma zinafanyika katikati ya Juma hapa kanisani and across all our zonal centers. Na pia vitu vyetu vyote vya maeneo. We shall be waiting on the Lord and break our fast with the communion table. Tutakuwa tunamngoja Bwana kwa kufunga na kuomba na tutakutana hapa kuvunja kwa sahumu. Time is 5:30 p.m. Saa ni saa 11:30 jioni. Specialized zonal outreach. Kutakuwa na uinjilisti wa vitu vyetu vya maeneo. This shall hold this Saturday across all our zonal centers. Itakuwa inafanyika katika vitu vyetu vya maeneo. Uinjilisti huu utakuwa unafanyika katika vitu vyetu vyote vya maeneo. After the covenant hour of prayer. Punde tu baada ya sala kiagano la maombi. All zonal pastors, assistants and ZFC officials are called upon to ensure its glorious success. Wale wachungaji wote na viongozi vyote wote wa vituo hivi vya maeneo mnaambiwa mkaweze kuandaa ili ikaweze kuwa yafanaka. Annual Youth Alive Convention. Kongamano la vijana la mwaka. If you are doing for Jesus, you can put your hands here for Jesus. Unaweza kumpigia Bwana Yesu makofi. The Annual Youth Alive Convention is just 15 days to go. Kongamano la vijana limesalia siku 15 tu. The theme is breaking new grounds. Basi ni kuweka misingi mpya. And the date is between Tuesday 22nd to Saturday the 26th August 2023. Ni kuanzia tarehe 26 hadi tarehe 22 hadi tarehe 26. All youths should prayerfully get set for encounters of a lifetime. Vijana wote mnaambiwa mkaweze kujiandaa ili mkaweze kukutana na neno la Mungu la maisha. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Please be reminded Tunakumbushwa that we are going live in all our services. Tunapeperushwa live katika vitengo vyote vyote vya social media. This is available on social platforms. Ni katika hizo social platforms that is YouTube, Twitter, TikTok and official Facebook page. Zote zilizotajwa. The recommended books of the month include Vitabu ambavyo tumeshauriwa kuvisoma vya mwezi ni Keys to Divine Health, The Healing Balm, The Miracle Meal, Fulfilling Your Days, 
Jesus still heals all terminal diseases, including coronavirus, all written by Bishop David Oyedepo. Vyote tumesomewa, vimeandikwa na Askofu Oyedepo. Rescued, rescued from destruction. Na hicho tulicho somewa. Healing, health and holiness. The power of the communion table. The healing ministry of Jesus Christ written by Pastor Faith Oyedepo. Na hivyo vyote vingine vimeandikwa na Mama Faith Oyedepo. Good news put your hands for Jesus. Habari njema tumpigie Bwana Yesu makofi. Next Sunday August 13th 2023 on this mountain shall be our special monthly communion service. Jumapili ijayo tarehe 13 Agosti katika mlima huu itakuwa ni ibada yetu ya meza ya Bwana. Shall be a service to be much remembered. Itakuwa ni ibada ya kukumbukwa. Come with your family members, yaku, your loved ones, wale unawapenda, new converts, wale ambao kwa mara kwanza, and the other invitees. Na wale ambao Our service schedule is as displayed on the screen. Ni kama katika yetu kwa sasa. Be reminded there shall also be a special church workers meeting after this service. Itakuwa pia, itakuwa pia, there shall be a special church workers meeting after this service. Please every church worker should endeavor to attend. Jesus is Lord. Put your hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord and finally on the covenant eye of life. Congratulations, amen and amen. In this service, we will be standing to give God called the thanks in our prayers in this manner. Father, thank you for rendering null and foil, all the time manipulation, targeting and storing, the continual growth of this child. Some of you are believing, amen. Tutasimama kwenda kuomba, tutakuwa tunaomba baba katika jina la Yesu. Wacha ukaweze kuaribu kila nira ambalo inaweza kushika kila muumini katika hii bada. Katika kitabu cha kutoka 12 12 nasema maana nitapita katika nchi ya Misri usiku huu nami nitawapiga wazaliwa wa kwanza wote katika nchi ya Misri nami nitafanya hukumu juu ya miungu yote ya Misri mimi dimi bwana shall you jump on our feet lift our voices appreciate Mami. god praying for the devil your heart appreciate god baba tunasema ni asante kwa kufanya vishawishi vyote vya ibilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili bwana tunasema ni asante bwana tunarekesha sifa na shukrani kwako maana bwana umefanya vishawishi vyote vya ibilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa Zaili baba tunasema ni asante bwana tunasema ni asante maana umefanya vishawishi vya ibilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili kwako sifa na utukufu maana bwana umetenda mama kuu tunarekesha sifa na utukufu kwako paza sauti yako umpe Mungu sifa na utukufu kwa kufanya vishawishi vyote vya ibilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili baba tunasema ni asante baba tunasema unaweza pokea sifa Pokea na utukufu kwa kufanya vishawishi vyote vya ibilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili bwana tunasema ni asante bwana tunasema ni asante pokea sifa pokea na utukufu maana umefanya vishawishi vyote vya ibilisi kuwa bila mafa, ma, madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili tunarekesha sifa na shukrani kwako maana wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu umetupigania pokea sifa pokea na utukufu maana umetenda ya ajabu kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili baba pokea sifa pokea na utukufu paza sauti yako umpe Mungu sifa na utukufu kutoka kile cha moyo wako hakikisha unampa Mungu sifa na utukufu kwa kufanya vishawishi vyote vya imbilisi kuwa bila madhara kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili baba tunasema ni asante baba tunarekesha sifa na utukufu kwako maana bwana umetenda pokea sifa pokea na utukufu kwa ukuaji wa kanisa hili tunarekesha sifa na utokofu maana umefanya ushawishi wa kanisa ribo soko ya babo ma dere babo soro ya babo ma dere babo soro ya babo ri ke 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 babo ma dere babo soro ya babo ri ya mama babo ma dere babo father we say thank you for 
rendering null and void. Oh, Satan manipulation, targeting and storing the growth of the church. In one South Yako, Regesha Siba Kwa Mungu, Mana Mefanya, Fisha Witch Vibilation, Kuwa Bila Madara, Kwa Kwanja Kanisa Ili, Pokea Sifa, Pokea Na Uchokofu, In one Mikono Yako, Mpe Mungo Sifa, Na Uchokofu, Kwa Kwanja Kanisa Ili, Baba Nasema Ni Asante, Baba Nasema Ni Asante, Nani Katika Jina Yesu Christo, Tumeomba Na Kuamini, Pigia Bonesu Makofi, Na Ukai Chini. We are going to stand again to take another prayer of thanksgiving in this manner. Father, thank you for rewarding all faithful sewers in this church over and again. Baba Asante kwa kuwazawadi, watenda kazi wote wa minifu, kata kanisa ili, tena na tena. Wakorindu wa kwanza, kifungu cha tatu msala wa nane, basi ya ya pandaye na ya ya maji ni wa moja. Lakini kila mtu atapata tawabu yake Mwenyewe sawasawa na tabu yake mwenyewe Sasa tusimame kwa mingu yetu Tuinue sifa Tumegeshe mungu sifa na utukufu Baba tunasema ni asante Kwa kuwa zawadi Watenda kazi wote wa aminefu Katia kanisa ili Tena na tena Tunakuja kusema ni asante Tunaregesha sifa na utukufu Maana umewa zawadi Watenda kazi wote wa aminefu Katia kanisa ili Tena na tena Bwana tunasema ni asante Bwana tunarugisha sifa na utukufu kwako Kwa kuwa zawadi Zawadi, watenda kazi wote wa aminifu katika kanisa ili tena na tena Bwana tunasema ni asante Bwana tunasema ni asante kwa kuwa zawadi watenda kazi wote wa aminifu katika kanisa ili tena na tena Bwana tunasema ni asante kwa sauti yako regesha siba kwa bongo maana metu zawadi tena na tena kila mtenda kazi wa aminifu Bwana metu zawadi tuwaregesha sifa na utukufu kwako Enua sauti yako mregeshe mungu siba na utokofu kwa kuzawadi Watenda kazi wote wa amenefu kati ya kanisa hili tena na tena Bwana tunasema ni asante Bwana tunasema ni asante kwa kuzawadi Watenda kazi wote wa amenefu kati ya kanisa hili Bwana tunasema ni asante Pokea sifa, pokea na utokofu Maana ome wazawadi Watenda kazi wote wa amenefu Dari ya kanisa hili tena na tena Bwana Bwana tunasema ni asante, Bwana tunasema ni asante, pokea sifa, pokea na utokofu, kwa kuwa zawadi, watenda kazi wote wa amenefu, katia kanisa hili, tena na tena, pokea sifa, pokea na utokofu, mwana buwana umetenda, umetu zawadi, tena na tena, tulegeja sifa, na utokofu kwako, mupasie buwana saute, akikisha na mpasu sifa na utokofu, mwana megu zawadi, wewe mtenda kazi mwema, dani ya kanisa hili, tena na tena, Tena na tena, Bwana tunasema ni asante, Bwana tunareja siba na utokofu, maana wametu zawadi, tena na tena, kila mfani kazi muamenefu, pokea sifa, pokea na utokofu, maana Bwana umetenda, hakuna mwengene kama wewe, asante Bwana, maku zawadi, tena na tena, wafani kazi wote wamenefu, ndani ya kanisa ele, tena na tena, Bwana tunasema ni asante, pokea sifa, pokea na utokofu, maana wametu zawadi, kila kila mtena kazi mwema ndani ya kanisa ele pokea sifa pokea na utokofu maana yo ni mungu mamenefu hakuna mengene kama wewe inu wa mikono yako mpe mungu sifa na utokofu maana metu zawali tena na tena pokea sifa pokea na utokofu na nikatika nyelesu kriso tuwemewamba na kushukuru pigia mwanesu magoi mazuri na ukachi Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. In this restoration service, it is testimony's time. Put your hands together for class, shout my breakthrough time. The Lord has blessed us with several testimonies. Please put your hands together and encourage the following as they come to testify to the glory and honor unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for class as you call Priscilla Odiambo. Priscilla Onyango. Priscilla Odiambo to come and testify. Put your hands together for Christ also as we call Deaconess Christine Lai to come and testify to the Lord and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the Lord did in your name and what the Lord did in one minute. Praise the Lord. My name is 
Priscilla Odiambo. Nataka ni testify kuhusu protection wa Mungu during mandamano. I was traveling to Kisumu to Siaya to go and bury my mom. And uh, by the time I booked the vehicle, um, by the time I booked the vehicle, they had not announced the mandamano for the three days. So after that, I did, after I did it, uh, the very day that I was supposed to travel, I called the bus company and I asked them. They said that they were going to Kisumu. So I, 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 I joined them and we, we traveled all the way to Kisumu. Upon reaching a place called Muoroni, the, the driver was called and he was told that there is danger ahead. We cannot travel anymore. And you know, when you are traveling to the village, you must carry your spiritual tools. I carried my two mantles and the anointing oil. So by the time they were arguing, the driver just announced to us and said that the owner of the vehicle told him that he, is, he either returned Biko back to Mombasa ama watu wa shuke pale Muoroni. And umkishuka hapo, hakuna gari yote inakupeleka and remember was going to Siaya. I started commanding the angels of God. I started calling upon God that my destination, I must reach it and God will protect me. As they were arguing with, they were discussing outside with other, bride, other bus companies who are leaving, who are dropping their, their passengers hapo chini. Mimi nikaingia pale, manake nilikuwa nimeka VIP, nikaingia pale kwa dereva, nikafunga hiyo mantul kwa chini ya starring yake na nika anoint hiyo eh, nika anoint starring then nika akakuja, nika anza kumcommand because now I was taking charge nika mcommand, nika mambia tutafika destiny kwenye tunaenda, conductor akanza kusema atuezi enda, nika mambia tutaenda na tukianza kuenda nikaona malaika wawili mbele tukienda, so by the time alikuwa nafika Aka, uh, waki, tukafika mpaka stage kisumu na gari yetu peke yake ndio ilifika hapo kufika hapo pia jamaa akakuja akaniambia kama unaenda place fulani kama unaenda sea ya njoni kupeleke akabeba bagi yangu na akanisafirisha hiyo place ilikuwa inanuka damu hakuna mtu yeyote kuna vita tu na, na giza but malaika wa Mungu alikuwa ameshinda kuniongoza mpaka nikafika kule nilikuwa nafika nyumbani our hands together for cross Dada yetu anashuhudia kwamba alipokuwa anaenda Kisumu kwenda kumstiri mama yake kulikuwa kumetangazwa maandamano hakukuwa kumetangazwa maandamano lakini punde tu alipokata gari basi kukambiwa kuwa kutakuwa na maandamano aliweza kuchukua hatua imani akapanda gari walipofika Kisumu wakaambiwa kwamba walipofika Mhoroni wakaambiwa kwamba hawezi fika Kisumu wala kuelekea Siaya lakini yeye aliweza kuchukua silaha zake za imani akaweza kufunga kitambaa katika steering ya dereva akaweza kumwamuru dereva kwamba dereva tutaenda paka tufike mahali tunapofika aliweza kuona malaika wawili mbele yake wakimwelekeza akachukua uskani akamwambia dereva kwamba hakika dereva tutaenda na kweli waliweza kuasili kwa uwezo wa Mungu akafika Kisumu akakutana na mtu ambaye aliweza kumwambia kwamba nitaweza kukufikisha sia ya mahali unapoelekea na basi mahali pale palikuwa pananuka damu hakukuwa na mtu lakini yeye aliweza kusafiri na akaweza kumstiri mamake amerudi na amekuja leo kumshuhudia Mungu ya kwamba hakika Mungu amemlinda na amerudi kumrejesha utukufu in one minute what god did and how god rescued dakika moja Praise the Lord, I'm finally on my covenant highways of life. I want to thank God and the leadership of this church for this privilege to testify. I've got two testimonies. One is divine favor. The day when the bishop was, going by, was leaving Mombasa, we had gone to the airport to see him off. I was supposed to travel that very day, and I had already booked a bus. I received a call when I was at the airport I, when are you traveling? I said I was to travel today. I was told, don't travel by bus. I've paid for your air ticket. So, so that is how I traveled to Kisumu with my air ticket. Testimony number two, promotion at my place of work. On Wednesday, I came for the covenant hour of prayer. When I came in the morning, our father in the house told me he wanted to see me after the, after the covenant hour. After the covenant hour, I went to the office. When I went, he gave me an envelope and told me, receive your promotion. And I said, amen. And then I received the envelope. I didn't look in, inside the envelope. When I reached my place of work is when I checked in the envelope. It was a mantle. So I just stick to that mantle. 
At, uh, in my place of work, we have opened another, another hospital. So I was told that you are the one who is going to, we are going to check on the hospital. So when we went, one of us told me, this is going to be your office. And then I received, I said amen. And then she said three times. When I came back to my place of work, my boss called me and then he told me, we have opened Kipevu Dispensary and we want you to be, we want to give you a post in that clinic. I said amen. That very Wednesday, I was promoted to that post. I have returned to give God all the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Dada na shudia kwamba ujio wa skofu wa bioe, aliweza kuenda wakati alikuwa na mwelekeza uwanja wa ndrege, alikuwa mekata tiketia kia wa gari, akaweze kusafiri kuenda kisumu. Lakini alipokuwa malipali, aliweza kupigiwa simu, wakaulizo, unaenda kisumu, unaenda kwa njia gani. Haka sama mimi ni mekata tiketi ya basi. Bali, basi mtu akaweza kumkatia tikiti ya ndege hivyo ndivyo aliweza kusafiri kwa anga akaenda paka kisumu na jumatano hii jumatano iliyopita aliweza kuja sala ya gano la maombi na mtumishi wa Mungu akaweza kumuita ofisini kwake akaweza kumwambia kwamba uh, nimekupatia chukua promotion ama kuinuliwa kwako kazini basi aliweza kuchukua bahasha ile hakuiangalia ndani alipoenda mbele akaona ni kitamba cha upako akaweza kuki kuweza kuitia u promotion yake ama kuinuliwa kwake kazini na Wednesday hiyo hiyo akaweza kuitwa na mkuu wake akawambia kwamba tumeweza kufungua dispensary kipevu na tunataka tukupatie ili ukaweze kuisimamia hivyo ndivyo alivyoinuliwa kazi uh, kazini kwake leo amerudi kumrudishia Mungu kumpatia utukufu kwa ajili ya kibali na kuinuliwa kazini amekuja kumpa Mungu utukufu tumpigie bwana Yesu surely only God who can do it in our seated position let us lift our hands and appreciate God for what he has done father mm. we thank you lord for the restoration we thank you for the promotion we give you glory we give you all the honor and in Jesus precious name we have prayed and given thanks you are the next one to testify in Jesus precious name put your hands together for Christ Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. In the book of Psalms, chapter 127, verse 3, it says, Zaburi hiyo. Children are the heritage of, of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is, is the reward. Let's put us together as we welcome Kingdom Heritage Modern School for the administration in Jesus' much name. Put us together as they, as they come. Praise the Lord, I am finally on the covenant highways of life. Red three peoples are ready to present moral values. My name is Jenny Award. I respect others. Respect is a condition of honoring others. Respect is and not demanded. Thank you. My name is Zuri. I am a responsible girl. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to do. Thank you. My name is Crystal Nandai. I am a generous girl. Generosity is the trait of being willing to give. Thank you. My name is Gabriel Angelo, and I am honest. Honesty is telling the truth. 
Honesty is the best policy. My name is Reni Nekesa. I, I care for others. Caring is a loving feeling for others. Thank you. My name is Daniel Kaiga. I am fair. Fairness is treating others the way you want to be treated. My name is Austin Morgan. I am courageous. Courage is a display of braveness. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My name is Angel V. I am trust. I trust others. Trust is having confidence. My, my name is Kenneth. I, I am patience. Patience is the act of tolerating delay. Praise the Lord. My name is Nathan Ontario. I love sharing. Sharing is enjoying something with others. Mbele enu, ni wanagenzu wa grade ya tatu. Taru kwa kariria, shaina ne mada, upeno ni adini. Safiri nasi, magindikeni nasi, aditamati. Upeno ni adini, inayosisha madili mema.
comigo Estreca a parte You are clapping for Jesus, do it more. Are you clapping for Jesus? It is by the hand of God that doing what they are doing, and that's why we have to appreciate God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is offering time. Say my blessing time. It is offering time. So you begin to prepare your tithes, Andazaka yako, your worship offering, yako ya kuabudu, your transport offering, yako we shall ya give it now, and, sasa. and any other offering. Pray Na the Lord. Yote nayo. They want to give unto the Lord in what? Jesus' mighty name. Katika as we are going to Yesu. take a strength from the book of Psalm chapter 54 and verse 6. Zaburi ya msina nne sita. You say, with a free, freely, okay, I will freely sacrifice unto thee, I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. Praise the Lord. Your, you have heard that, and you have packaged your offering. Let us be on our feet, and gather all your seeds, whatsoever you are proposed to give unto God this morning. And let us begin to lift up your voices and water them with the words of wisdom, Father, in the name of Jesus, we Baba thank you. We give you glory. We appreciate you for this privilege you have given us even to appear with a seed in this vineyard. Lord God of glory, we pray that you receive this seed. And as it is planted here, it brings forth fruits in the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege. We honor you and we give you glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. With joy and gladness. Drop your seed as you take your seat and put, put your hands together for Jesus, even as we welcome the winners' voices. Leo ni siku ya urejesho Tunataka kuambia adui ya kwamba Bwana ako pamoja nasi Na tunarejesha yote Hallelujah
voice. Give him glory, give him honor. Appreciate him to be in service this first Sunday of the month of August. Give him glory, honor, and praise. Lord, I thank you. I'm not in the hospital now. I'm in your house this early morning. Even in this first Sunday of the month of August, I am no sick. And if I'm sick, Lord, I know your healing power is reaching me now. You have called me for restoration of my health. Thank you because of your restoration power that is coming upon me. Lord, I thank you that I'm in your house this morning. I'm not dead. I'm alive. I'm not in the mortuary. I'm not asleep because of challenge. I'm here in your house. House, and you are ready to reach out to me. Thank you, Jesus, for the restoration package that you have for me today. I return all the glory to you. I bless your holy name, Jehovah. I acknowledge you, Lord God Almighty. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are excellent. There is no one like you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the week of spiritual emphasis. Thank you for the renewal of our strength. Thank you, Father. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we return all the glory to you. For this month of August, the eighth month of the year, the new beginnings, next levels of blessings that you are ordering our feet into, we say thank you. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are here with the sense of gratitude for the privilege to cross over to see the eighth month of the year. Our man that you have declared that you shall restore health unto us. Our month of new beginnings, next levels of blessings. Lord, for what to did in the first service, receive all the glory. And for what to say to do in this service, let your name be glorified in advance. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree that by the end of this service, everyone will be restored all round in the name of Jesus. In this covenant day of restoration, health shall be restored, marriages shall be restored, lost opportunities shall be restored, peace shall be restored, breakthroughs shall be restored. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus. Jesus mighty name. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Yeah, and please help me tell your neighbor your restoration is now. Your restoration is now. Whatever the devil stole from you, it shall be restored now. It shall be restored now. Tell him your restoration is coming loud and clear. Amen. Give Jesus a shout of restoration. Restoration. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to your restoration assembly this morning. You shall be fully restored. In the name of Jesus. I don't know how you have come in. But I want to assure you. You are going out restored. Give the Lord a clap offering. And please you may be seated. In the name of of Jesus. You are welcome to the second service of this first Sunday of the month. And this month we are looking at walking in dominion over sickness and diseases. Walking in dominion over sickness and diseases. In Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20 Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20 the Bible says the harvest is past and the summer is ended and we are not saved. Mavuno ya mepita na kiangazi ki mepita na tujokolewa. For the heart of the daughter of my people, I'm hurt. 
Maana kwa ajili ya maumivu ya binti yangu naumia. I am black and astonishment has taken hold on me. Nimekuwa mweusi na kuumia kumiteka. Is there no balm in Gilead? Je, hapana dawa katika Gilead? Is there no physician there? Je, hapana tabibu pale? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Kwa nini binti ya watu wangu hajapona? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Why is there no recovery? Kwa nini hapana uponyaji? Is there no balm in Gilead? Je, hapana dawa katika Gilead? Is there no physician there? Hapana tabibu pale. That could be the question someone is asking me sir. Labda ndio swali mtu anajiuliza. That God is a great healer. Nimesikia Mungu ni mponyaji mkuu. I've heard that Jesus is the healer. Nimesikia Yesu ni mponyaji. I've heard that he sent his word his word healed and delivered. Nikasikia alituma neno likawaponya na kuwakomboa. Why am I still sick? Kwa nini bado naugua? Today. Leo. God is answering your questions in the name of Jesus. Mungu anajibu maswali yako kwa jina la Yesu. I declare to you. Nakutangazia. That you are being here. Kwamba kuwa kwako hapa. Aventure this relation in the hospital. Pengine pana mwingine hospitali. Your mother in the village is bedridden. Ama mama kwa yuki tandani. As you are here. Ulipo hapa. Connecting by faith. I command whoever you represent here Heal instantly in the name of Jesus Heal instantly in the name of Jesus And so shall it be in the name of Jesus The end time church is a church that is ordained to dominate By the time Jesus is coming back to his church Dominion shall be the epitome of the end time church dominion shall be the epitome of the end church and that includes dominion over sickness and diseases because sickness and diseases and the devices the devil is using to steal, to kill and destroy and God is saying before the end time comes I want to see my church in full dominion over sickness and over diseases if you don't believe it this is a prophecy Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 9 Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 9 they shall not be hurt or nor destroyed in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the the Lord has water covered the sea. They shall not be hard. Nor sh shall they be destroyed. In all my holy mountain. In all my holy mountain. Why? For the knowledge of God shall full shall cover the earth as water covered the city. One of the avenues of satanic destruction over mankind is true lack of knowledge. The Bible says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge. By this service, what you don't know that the devil has been taking advantage of you, the light of God shall shine on you in the name of Jesus. I declare no sickness, no disease shall go home with you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter chapter 30 and verse 17 I will restore health unto you. Anytime you hear the word restoration it means that it was there before but it's not there. Now it is being returned back. Praise the Lord. It's being returned back. I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thy wounds says the Lord because they call thee an outcast. Saying is this thy own? who no man seeketh after by the healing package that you are receiving today men will begin to seek after God through you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus that shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Isaiah 33 and verse 24 and the inhabitants shall not say I am sick the inhabitants shall not say I am sick the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven of their iniquity the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven of 
given their iniquity today by the mercies of God I declare you forgiven of your iniquity and I decree and declare the devil has no foundation over your life to hit you with sickness and disease in the name of Jesus you shall no more be sick and if you are sick I declare your healing is now in the name of Jesus praise the Lord I want you to understand that the weapons of our warfare they are not canon but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and every every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God today today I release to you a weapon by the word of God that will destroy the enemy in your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus praise the Lord under any affliction praise the Lord I want you to know there are many affliction that doctors cannot trace the virus they find all they know by reason of the symptoms that you have you have told them they have scanned you, checked you but they cannot tell what is happening why? we do not fight carnally we fight spiritually there are many things that are spiritually designed x-ray cannot find it x-ray cannot find it but by the word of God I see the devil dislodged out of your life if you believe it, shout a believing amen. Shout a believing amen. I declare you are made whole in the name of Jesus. Our battles are not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against principalities. That is why the only way for you to overcome is to engage the higher principality and that is the word of God praise the Lord verse 16 of that is, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 it says above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dust of the devil you are able to quench all the fiery dust of the devil praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord the Monday after Sunday sorry on the last Sunday that God's servant Bishop Abio ministered. My wife had been having a challenge that will reach, that will attack her in the night. When the wind is blowing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When you get into our bedroom and reach out to her, she should begin to feel like coughing and cough that you can feel as if our chest is bursting very bad cough anytime wind enters through the window very bad cough praise the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. So that Monday, praise the Lord, she got into contact with one of the materials that God's servant had used. And covered as ever declared. God of Bishop Bioe. Sure for me. Praise the Lord. And she felt a relief. And there and then, 
till tomorrow she has never had that cough listen to me listen to me our weapons are not canon but mighty through God if it is mighty through God then it is it must be by faith because it is faith that connects you to God and the Bible say above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dust of the devil so I declare to you by the word of faith you are receiving today receive your instant healing in the name of Jesus receive your instant healing in the name of Jesus receive your instant healing in the name of Jesus so shall it be there are many weapons that God has placed in our hands don't despise what you know what you know is enough to deliver you out of that challenge praise the Lord hallelujah David was face to face with Goliath all that David knew is how to throw the slave praise the Lord and the techniques of how to grab the lion and tear it apart praise the Lord so Goliath stood and began to make mouth first Samuel chapter 17 verse 45 then said David to the Philistine thou comest to me with sword and with spear and with the shield but I come unto you in the name of the Lord of hosts and the God of the army of Israel whom thou hast defiled this day will the Lord deliver thee unto my hands and I will smite thee and take thee thy head from off thee and I will give the carcass of the host of, of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. And what did David do? He had five stones. J E S U S. Praise the Lord. And put one stone and release it very well. I know many of us are facing some challenges. What you know is that I will live on drugs till I die. What you know is this sickness is terminal. It has to terminate me. All you know is that let me just manage until my time comes. But today, whether you have leukemia, whether you have HIV, whether you have cancer, whether you have diabetes, I declare in the name of Jesus, you are made whole. In the name of Jesus, use what you have. Use what you have. Use what you have. What you have, what you have now is the word of God coming your way. What you have now is God's servant ministering to you now. What you have is your heart be open to receive. I declare you are made whole. I declare you are made whole. Don't despise what you have. Don't despise what you know. Continue to apply. Continue to apply. Continue to apply. I don't miss out my mantle. Praise the Lord. You've had the testimony of our sister. So it's not my mantle. Is it one? prophetic uh, material that was in contact with God's servant in the game. And she collected her promotion by faith. Now, I declare restoration of whatsoever you have lost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, 2 Corinthians 11, 3, but I fear, least by any means, as the serpent be thy leave, through his ability. So your mind be corrupted with the simplicity that is in Christ. What is a handkerchief? A what is it? How can it someone promotion. How can someone say, oh God, so heal me and say, it appears so simple. That's the problem of you going to school now. That is where you are problem of going to school now. You are too analytical. Praise the Lord. You are very critical. And things are very critical in your life. Listen to me. Partake of the simplicity of the gospel. David saw God like too big to miss. And he made mouth concerning his God. It was not David that killed Goliath. It is God that killed Goliath. All he needed to use is a vessel. And David provided himself a vessel. Praise the Lord. And provoked God. And God destroyed Goliath. That cancer that is too big. That want to terminate your life. It will not terminate you. Today we declare cancer terminated. Today we declare we declare diabetes terminated. We declare arthritis terminated. HIV. What 
whatever is terminated in the name of Jesus. God is returning you back. If you believe it, you believe in Amen. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. What is the force behind sickness and disease? Number one, the spirit of fear is one of the spirits behind diverse sickness and disease. Before the devil reach out to you, he must find an opening. And fear is the opening that the devil gain access to your life. The spirit of fear. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power and of love and of sound mind. Fear is not of God. Any time it is knocking at your door, telling that I'm not opening the door for you because you're not of God, it is of the devil. It is of the devil. What is fear? False evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. You go to the doctor, they scan you and they show you you are stunned. I say, look at your back. This is pneumatherosis. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They look at you after you dodge as well defeated man. I've taken your urine. In the laboratory, they must say you have your own. I don't know what they call it. Listen to me. It is false evidence appearing real. Praise the Lord. It is false evidence appearing real. That they don't want to use to gain access to you. But the Bible says that fear is not of God. God has given you the spirit of love, power, and sound mind. It is through your love of God that you cast out every fear. If you are in love with God, fear will not penetrate you. If you truly love God, fear will not penetrate you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Look at Job chapter 3 and verse 35. Job was fearing for what his children are doing. Every time Job would appear before God, he would not offering. And I think I'm a king I've, I've seen. Praise the Lord. He was acting in fear. And it happened because of that fear, the devil got access to him. And God reports saying, for the things which I really fear is come upon me. And that which I was afraid of has come. So any time fear comes, the devil is about to come. I declare in the name of Jesus, whatever area your fear is knocking at your door, I command it pass out in the name of Jesus. I cast every spirit of fear in your life in the name of Jesus. You shall not die, but live to glorify the name of the Lord. You shall not die, but live to glorify the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Hebrew chapter 2 and verse 14. Hebrew chapter 2 and verse 14. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, For as much then as children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That through death, death he might destroy him that has power over death. Jesus, yes, through death, destroyed the devil that has power over death. That is the devil. Verse 15. And delivered them whom through fear of death. Who are all their lives subjected to bondage. Fear opens the door for the devil to subject you to bondage. You become prison. I declare, no spirit of fear shall access to your life. So how do you come out of fear? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How do I come out of fear? Through you are encounter with the word of God. Because the word of God produces faith. And faith is the opposite of fear. Fear is believing on the devil. Faith is believing on God. And God has power over the devil. May God give you understanding. God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. And the perfect love of God destroys fear. If you truly love God, no fear can be in your life. Because my love for God empowers you to have faith in God to overcome the devil who wants to access your life through fear. Number two, the spirit behind diverse sickness and diseases, the spirit of deformity, the spirit of deformity. Now, listen to what happened. Praise the Lord. Studio, please get set. The Sunday that God's servant Bishop Abi was ministering here, on someone came of the other faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They came and sat at the back. They had a child. And this child was deformed. He had come to see one of the Bahala witches around. And someone told them, look here, why don't you try God? Come to church. That is the child that came. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the former state. Praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The child sat there because of where they were coming from. As soon as the service ended, they also cleared off. They were coming from the village in West Western. Praise the Lord. So they departed back on Monday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, the boy that could not walk, as you have seen in the screen, praise the Lord, show the other video, was now able to walk. Listen to the mother, listen to the mother, listen to the mother, see that video, 
See him struggling. See him struggling. See him struggling. Praise the Lord. See him struggling. That it was the defeat of before meeting. Let's listen to the video. See him walking. See him walking. See him walking. See him walking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week, this boy that had not been had not been going to school for the last 10 years went back to school. What was the challenge? The spirit of deformity. The spirit of deformity. Lift up your hands. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that I decree and declare you are creative word. Any deformity in any man's life, I call for the spirit of the living God to quicken the system back to life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree the creative word of God to penetrate your system. In the name of Jesus, you are here, you are a man, and you have challenge in your manhood. I command the creative power of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I cast that spirit of deformity. In in Jesus mighty name, so shall it be. Luke 13 and verse 11. Luke 13 and verse 11. Luke 13 and verse 11. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and behold, there was a woman which had spirit of infirmity. 18 years. And was bound together and could no wise lift up herself. Could no wise lift up herself. She tried all man of wisdom, but could not wise lift up herself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 12. And when Jesus saw her, yes, my praise that Jesus will see you today. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, see me today. And change my story today. See me today. And change my story today. See me today. And help my mother in the village. Help my brother that is admitted wherever they are. Lord, see me today. Show up, Almighty God. And Jesus saw her. And she said to her, Woman. Thou art loose from the family. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was straightened and glorified God. But Pastor, you must lay hands on me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Can I tell that there's a mysterious hand of God reaching out to you now? How do you tap to the mysterious hand of God? Who has believed our report? Isaiah 53 and verse 1. Who has believed our report? And to him shall the hands of the Lord be revealed. So I see God's hand revealed to you to release upon you healing and deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who was the cause of this infirmity and deformity? Verse 18. The Bible says, And ought not this woman, ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, lo, this 18 years, be loose from his bond on the Sabbath day? So the spirit of deformity, praise the Lord is manipulated by the devil. May God deliver you in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout a believing amen. Praise the Lord. Now, how, how does the power of the word of God enable us to overcome to have dominion over sickness and diseases. Number one, the word of God is the healing balm. It is the caps, spiritual capsule. I shared with us a testimony sometimes back. I had a, a it is one of the systems that is predominant with those who have low blood pressure. Caused by the, the, the heart not able to beat as it ought to beat very well. They call it bloody cardia. I had that challenge sometimes happened. Praise the Lord. And, and one day God's someone was ministering. He cares in Nairobi. And he told us, listen, the healing capsule of God is coming your way now. And you don't see the way you are seated. Crossing your legs, I moved towards the edge. I opened my mouth. But eventually, there is a capsule being thrown. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was eager for my encounter. Praise be to God. 
and I left. The next day, I went for checkup. They hooked all manner of things for me in the cardiology. And the graft they had, they, they call it, I know, easy, whatever graft they had. They tried to compare. The two are totally different. Listen to me. After now, as you go for checkup, it shall not be found. The word of God is the healing bar. Medicine all. He sent his word, his word healed and deliver. Listen to me. The word does not cure. The word heals and deliver. Any time drugs is ministering for the sake of curing, there are side effects. But there is no side effect with the word of God. Listen to me. Your story is changing now. Your story is changing now. There is a Lord. God's servant was found himself in a, one of the in Abuja. It was to be an evening service. And that day there was a child that came to be prayed for and because of the challenge he passed on and the mother heard that man of God is coming here so he refused to go home and went to lock himself in one of the children's room in the same compound and go someone stood on the altar and listen about this voice is there no bomb in Gideon is there no physician there that was the word he spoke and the spirit of God went to that child that was with the mother there the child sneak and jack back to life listen to me the great physician has the ability to reverse the irreversible reverse the irreversible Listen, today, whatever the devils, the, whatever doctors have said that this one, no more. You cannot do, have any change. The unchanging changer is reaching out to you now. Number two, when we have revelation of the word of God, praise the Lord, because the word of God has two, three powerful components. The light, the spirit, and the life of God. When you have an encounter with the word of God, the revelation of the word of God dawns on you. And you have understanding there and there listen to me you are made whole you are made whole I was made whole when I received that one that is why when I went for checkup there was totally different thing praise the Lord hallelujah so when the light of the word of God dawns on you when the light of the word of God breaks through healing springs forth Proverbs chapter 4 Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20 to 22. He says, listen to this. My son, attend to my word. Don't hear it casually. Attend to my word. Incline my ears to my saying. Listen to me. There is a voice behind the word you are receiving now. If you give it attention, attend to my word. Incline your ears to what I'm saying. It is the word that has the voice. He says in verse 21, he says, let not the, them depart from thy eyes. As you hear the voice, let there be a picture in your eyes. In your eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Give it an image. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Now begin to believe it. Begin to believe it. Verse 22, he says, for they are life to them that find it and health to their flesh. So the word of God, when revelation breaks forth, praise the Lord, you are found life. You are found health. That is why the Bible says, thy word were found and I ate them and they were the rejoicing of my heart. When you find the word, there is joy and rejoicing. That means you have relocated from sickness and disease. You know how you look when you are sick. Praise the Lord. The word you are found and they were the joy and the rejoicing of God. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout to believing, amen. Number three. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three. The dominion of night over darkness is instant. Instant. You are in a room that is dark. And you don't owe the KPLC. You put on the switch and light enters and darkness says, I'm gone. Praise the Lord. It says, I'm gone. 
now. I see the devil gone out of your life now. That pain goes off now. That pain goes off now. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. I address that pain out of your body. Out of your body. I address that pain. No more. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Receive your wholeness now. Receive your liberty now. Sickness, I cast you now. In the name of Jesus. Cancer, go. Leukemia, go. Diabetes, go. HIV, disappear. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Take your seat as we round up. What is in the word? Number one, medicine is in the word. What is in the word? The word is surgical. The word is surgical. The word is surgical. Praise the Lord. In Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 12. Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 12. Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even dividing asunder the soul and the spirit. And the joint and the mouth. And is the design of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. The word of God is surgical in nature. A man was due for an operation because he broke his leg. Praise the Lord. And he had a revelation that the word of God is surgical. He had an auto reverse uh, uh, machine. He listened to the message and listened until it's left off. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next day, this man was due for an operation. He went, but they decided to check him first. When they went to check, the bones are reconnected themselves back together. The word of God is surgical in nature. May you receive your healing in the name of Jesus. You saw in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 23-24, Adam was in a seat praise the Lord and God surgically operated on him took one of his ribs and created a woman praise the Lord so the word of God is also creative it's also creative when the word of God finds expression in your mind and create an image and you believe it what you see in the invisible becomes a reality to you I see you healed in the name of Jesus the word of God is created in nature. God was speaking let there be. Let there be. Genesis chapter 1. Let there be light. Let there be this. And what he spoke was, so as you are seated there, I want you to speak what you want to see. Praise the Lord. Speak what you want to see. Speak mental excellence to your daughter, your son in school. Speak what you want to see. Open your mouth. It's a prophetic service. Speak, speak. I speak excellence to every child sitting exams this year. I speak mental excellence from the back to the front, from D to A, from D to B. In the name of Jesus, speak. I shall prosper. I shall prosper. I shall not fail. I shall not fall. I shall not fall. Speak, speak what you want to see. Is the prophetic service? Speak. Speak. The word of God is creative. Create what you want to see. I speak marital bliss. I speak restoration of whatsoever I have lost in the name of Jesus. We in chapel Mombasa, we speak restoration. Restoration. Oh men, women, multitude. We speak restoration in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus. Jesus mighty name. Number four, the word is prophetic. It is a sure word of prophecy. Don't wait for someone to prophesy over your life. Take the word and prophesy. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 1 to 14 is a long stretch. Praise the Lord. I just mentioned a few. Praise the Lord. Verse Verse 4. Again he said unto me, prophesy this, prophesy upon these bones. The man was taking the value of dry bones. Death visibly 
sin. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and shall live, and I will lay sin upon you, and bring my flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesy, as was commanded, and as I prophesy, there was noise, and behold, the shaking, the bones coming together, bow to his bone. I declare to you, in the name of Jesus, you are made whole now. In the name of Jesus, that sickness that has come your way by reason of enchantment and divination from witches and wizards, back to sender, back to sender. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no spirit of untimely death shall access your life. In the name Oh Jesus, you are made whole now. Give the Lord a clap of thing is what you are praise. Last but not least, the word of God is fire. 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 It consumes. It consumes. That is why when you say the word of God, the the fire in the word of God goes forth. Because God himself is a consuming fire. And his word also consumes. Praise the Lord. In the modern science medication, they don't literally operate on you like this. When they want to reach to your organ that is challenged. There is a ray that they use to focus on that fibro and burn it. Praise the Lord. And burn it. Praise the Lord. They reach it. That is why when the word of God enters you, praise the Lord, it has the ability to do an operation that is mysterious to reach the enrichables, the bones and the barrels. The word of God is fire. It can burn that virus. It can burn that leukemia. It can burn that HIV in the name of Jesus. So when the word of God reach you, it transmit the life of God, the nature of God. God is light. God is spirit. And God is life. Eternal life. When it reaches your, your body, no sickness can survive. That temperature, no sickness can survive. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That is why the word of God makes whole. It does not kill what it makes whole. May God give you understanding in the name of Jesus. And now, in our resurrection, I want you to know that God has an agenda for your resurrection. God has an agenda for your resurrection. Praise the Lord. In these last days, praise the Lord, God is in busy recovering all that the devil has taken away from him. It doesn't matter how many years you have lost. I standing before you are a testimony of resurrection. I lost some years. God restored back with backdated promotion. My packages put together and told, take it. Even years, God has the ability to restore. God has the ability to restore. Your own shall be restored. Your own shall be restored. Jeremiah chapter 2, sorry. Joel chapter 2, verse 23. He says, Be glad if you are in for resurrection, put a smell on your face. Be glad. O ye children of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain more lately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former and the latter rains in the first month, and the floor shall be filled with wheat, and the fire shall overflow with wines and oil, and I will restore you the years. Who can restore years? Only God. Because God owns time. Is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He owns time. That is why God is never late. God is never late. God is never late. I am provoking you, amen. God is never late. God is never late. Listen to me. The time you have it can be the best time. Thank God for those who have overtaken you. But my sister, you have carried all your children 
all, all the children of your siblings. Yet you are the firstborn. I'm telling you, put a smile on your face. Because before the end of this year, oh, this is uh, when? Is August. How many are remaining? The early part of next year. I declare to you, you are, you are carrying your triplets. Praise the Lord. You are carrying your triplets. Praise the Lord. Your siblings have gone two or one ahead of you. You will overtake and overtake and recover all. If you believe in shelter, believe in amen. Listen. All you need is to be in God's timing. And what you have lost is restored back. Is restored back. Can I hear a believing amen? Can I hear a believing amen? Praise the Lord. In First Samuel chapter 30, and verse 6 to 9, David went out with his people and came back and found that the entire family was taken away. And they cried and cried until they had no more power to weep. And the Bible says, people were organizing down to kill to stone David to death. Everybody was stressed, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Can I tell you the truth? He want to be restored. It all begins by your disposition. This looking like your own self. Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden, cannot attract restoration. Those are agents of destruction. You can't look like the way you don't like to be photoed. Praise the Lord. And express restoration. No, it doesn't begin like that. You must put a smile on your face. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are the Lord that he led me. You are the Lord my he. Don't sing that song frowning. Sing that song by faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David encouraged himself the Lord and went to the Lord and asked him, Lord, should I go for them? Listen to me. Restoration demands our spiritual force to move and go and collect. Move and go and collect. Move and go and collect. Go and collect. That shepherd they stole from you. Go back home and begin to pursue it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The place they had chased you away. Listen. I am meant to be here. Praise be to God. Am I here? Saying, can I hear believing amen? Restore. Something has been taken away from you. There must be a spiritual move for restoration. Praise the Lord. May God give you understanding. That is why when God wanted to restore you and me back to himself, he sent Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus did not just come here and look like this. Praise the Lord. He went about healing, teaching, preaching, and healing all manner of sickness and disease. And he went on the cross. There was a force applied. Praise the Lord. He went to Lazarus' home. Lazarus had already been buried. And, and he told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. So Jesus is the resurrection. What is resurrection? Restored back to life. Praise be to God. Now, if something is being restored back to life, and you are now still alive, that means that your case is not badly off. You are not in a state of irreversible. Therefore, I declare to you, total restoration in the name of Jesus. Total restoration in the name of Jesus. I want you to know God has a plan to replace seven to you for every one thing that has been stolen from you. The Bible says when one door is closed, several others are open. The devil closes it with the aim of denying you your opportunity, several others are open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29. It says, And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heir according to his promise. Heir according to his promise. May God give you understanding in the name of Jesus. And in Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 30. Proverbs 6 and verse 30. Men do not despise a thief if he still to satisfy his soul. When he's found. When he's found when he's angry, 
Akiwa nanja. Praise the Lord. Verse 31. He says, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all substance of his household. Sevenfold plus all substance of his household. That is why today's restoration is coming with another package load for you. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have lost, I command restoration. I command restoration seven for restoration seven for restoration and package of good pursuing accompanying it in the name of Jesus so shall it be in Jesus mighty name now listen to this the Holy Ghost came to restore double for our shame Jesus came died on the cross that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and he said the thief came to steal to kill and destroy but I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. This abundant life is what they call eternal life. This is life that sickness and disease cannot kill. It may only go with the body to the grave, but life for eternity is still existing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now the Holy Ghost came to now give us whatever the devil has stolen when we were on his side. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 16 and verse 7. Isaiah chapter 16 and verse 7. For you are shame. You shall have double. And for you are confu for, for, for confusion. They shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. I declare to you double, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Double what? Restoration of years lost. Double what? Of your health. Double what? Of your glory. No shame. No shame. No shame. Second Peter chapter one verse three. Second Peter chapter one verse three. He say, according to his divine power, praise the Lord. Talking of the power of the Holy Ghost, he has given unto us all things that pertain to God and godliness. All things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue you have a calling to glory and virtue look at your life what area does not reflect glory the devil has told you something and I declare now restoration of your glory in the name of Jesus you shall no more look down in shame you shall no more look down pitiable I decree the glory of God answer for you from level to level in the name of Jesus. Now, how do we secure restoration? We are rounding up. Number one, you must receive the Holy Ghost baptism which ordain and facilitate your restoration. Listen to me. You need power to make an attack of the enemy to claim what the devil has stolen. And that is the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. You need the power. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed of the devil. So you need the Holy Ghost baptism. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We facilitate our restoration. Number two. You must receive and believe the word of God for your restoration to experience for you to experience restoration. You must receive and believe the word of God. You must receive and believe the word of God. Praise the Lord. Is the restorer. Praise the Lord. Once you believe in him, and I tell you the truth, the word of God is the source of restoration. When the word of God breaks forth and you gain understanding, a revelation is, is made manifest. You know what you have lost. To now place a demand for what you have not restored. Until you know what you have lost, you, you may be having it there, but you don't know where it is. So the word of God 
opens you up to revelation it enlightens you to know what you have lost praise the Lord you are not ordained to suffer but to enjoy life praise the Lord you are not ordained for poverty but the Bible says I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even your soul prosper if you don't know that is your package it may still be available there and you don't enjoy it praise the Lord God was redeemed as what was, what, 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 was is the worthy lamb of God that was slain that we receive power so witness is not your portion to receive strength it, uh, vitality is your portion to receive wisdom so foolishness and dullness is not your portion to receive to receive to receive, to receive glory so shame is not your portion to receive blessing so curse is not your portion praise the Lord hallelujah to receive honor these are available for you through the revelation of the word of God, God so that you can go and make claim so that it is restored that shall be your portion in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. number three we must maintain and remain committed to serve God and the interests of his kingdom Job 36 and 11 Job 36 and 11 it says and if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years 